What's going on YouTube? Back in the garage again. In this video, we're going to be doing some more work to the ZX-6R. I did get in the uh, license plate lights. I got the front turn signal pigtails that I, was, I needed. And I also got the new grommets for the valve cover. I'm going to start with this here uh, today. And uh, hopefully I can get majority of this bike uh, put back together. We'll see. Um, so I'm going to start with this and uh, see how far I get. All right, you guys. So in order to change those grommets, I have to drop the rad, which I already did. Got that a little bit out of my way. And if you look, it looks like it's wet. Let me see if I can't hang this. Yeah. Dang. Oh man, so difficult. There, kind of go. All right, so it's wet right here, and it looks like it was dripping down from this one. Looks like all the front ones need to be replaced. So I got plenty of them to do it. So I'm gonna start with that. I don't think it's actually the valve cover gasket itself, but. Uh, I'm gonna try this grommets first and hopefully I can get lucky um, So I did drop like I said I dropped the rad uh, Now I'm going to take some brake cleaner start from the bottom and spray down and just get all that crap off there um, Hopefully she cleans up good. All right you guys, so I got majority of it all cleaned up about As much as I'm gonna get it cleaned up uh, Unless I do some major surgery and take the bike apart a lot more I'm um, pretty happy way it is. So now I'm going to start here and undo this one, then I'm going to undo this one. That should have a clamp on it. I bet you it was leaking from here too. Should have two clamps. Um, so I'm going to have to fix that. Uh, yeah, that's, a, that's not OEM. So yeah, I'm going to fix that and do those two seals right there. Alrighty guys, I just want to show you uh, the difference between the new gasket and old gasket. This is the new gasket and that's the old right there. Let me get it off, compare it. It is super squished, the old one. It's like petrified. So these, that's shot. This is the new one. What I've been doing is I've been putting a very, very small coat of RTV sealer here and also on the the cover, valve cover itself, or head cover, however you want to put it. Very, very thin, just in case there's a, a slight scratch that I'm not seeing, I'm not going to get a, a leak. So, that is a really old bike, it's better be safe than sorry. Uh, then I'm torquing them down to 37 inch pounds. Um, <coughs> I got two more to do. Uh, come back once I get all that done. I got the all the new grommets for the valve cover bolts all on. Uh, my next step is I'm going to hang the new headlight. I even bought the little bulbs that go in the side evidently that my stock one right there, stock one doesn't have. So I'm guessing they're like a marker light so I just got amber ones and put those in. I gotta see if I think there's a little rubber grommet so I gotta put right here. And then I think this actually bolts to the front shroud first, if I'm correct. But yeah, that's gonna be my next step. I'm gonna put that on and start uh, reassembling some. If it is the front shroud, that means I'm gonna put the new windscreen on too. Uh, but We'll see. I'll come back once I get that all squared away. Alright you guys, so I got the new headlight uh, assembled with all the rubber grommets. I had to take these out on both sides uh, off the old headlight. This one right here on both sides. And I installed the new marker lights. Um, now, I can't remember if the headlight comes on when a bike's running or it should be on now. I hope not now. <laughs> but I'm um, to be on the safe side before I go any farther, I'm gonna put the air box back on 
and I'm going to put the gas tank on and start the bike up just to make sure that these headlights actually come on. You guys got the tank back on. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the headlights turn on when I turn the turn it over and start it. Uh, cycle it, let the fuel pump do its thing. Um, I still have no headlights. Um, try starting it. Got a little smoke, I think that's from me just spraying things and uh, with brake cleaner, it just has to burn off. But, all right, um, so I can finish reassembling the front here. It's funny, it's now it stays on. <laughs> I don't know. But I can re finish re reassembling the front end here, uh, put the new windscreen on, wax the, the front clip here, and bolt the headlight assembly into the front fairing then put the front fairing on uh, hopefully it goes smooth um, there's another thing I wanted want to do is I originally ran this the clutch cable through the rail here I think I might end up redoing that again I think I might run it on the outside originally how it came um, I don't know it is I just don't want it to melt you know I don't want the the cable to melt. It is it will touch once you turn this the handlebar uh, to the right. So I think to play it safe, I will run it on the outside. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna reroute the clutch cable, then reassemble the front uh, fairing here. All right, you guys, I got the front uh, nose assembled. Um, it lined up pretty good considering it's aftermarket fairings and aftermarket headlights and aftermarket windscreen. Um, I had to drill out the hole for each side on this one for the windscreen. It, the molding was just, uh, it was a little small. So I had to drill it out a little bit so I can get the rubber grommets in that, uh, that had the little nut in it. Um, yeah, next is I'm going to put the sides on uh, so um, I can get this firmly on there. They rely, it relies on the, the sides and the mirrors to hold it down. Um, once I put the sides on, I can rewire the turn signals on the front and use these pigtails here. Um, like you're supposed to the other person didn't do that i don't know what the heck they were thinking but uh it was not wired in correctly so i'm gonna take care of that got the side fairings on and uh things are lining up correctly i can't complain um i got both turn signals wired into the correct pigtail so they just clip in i uh, soldered and heat shrinked both sides so now they are correctly in place and wired correctly uh, blinks and that one I don't know we got it yep so that's all done oh. Um, uh, now it's next is the rear tail section. Um, I got to figure out, um, license plate light and bracket. I want to do that. Uh, yeah, that's going to take some time. So, I'll come back when I figure out how I want to do it. Alright you guys, uh, I got the rear tail section all assembled. Unfortunately, 
I'm going to have to take it back apart. The reason being, I forgot to put this piece in. This goes under all of that. So I got to take this section back off and put that piece back in. Um, but I do have all the wiring situated back here. Uh, I'm going to tidy it up a little bit more. But I got a license plate light now. Uh, let me turn it on. License plate light. Um, I used the original bracket. I had to modify a little bit to get it to mount correctly. But it works. So. That stinks. I gotta take that off. Um, I still have to wax this bike off you know and give it a good cleaning uh so i think my next step is going to be actually pulling the wheels cleaning them and painting them because i have to do that that is they're just so nasty and chipped up that i can't get away with just leaving them alone um, so i'm gonna have to clean those up and paint them make them look a little bit better um, but it is what it is uh bike's coming along everything is going together just as planned so i can't really complain a lot of cleaning i gotta do to it yet um i originally said that i wanted to lower and stretch it i think i might abort that and not do it um reason being i'm just gonna end up selling this bike so um i'll just leave it at stock height stock length and just leave it as that so what things I do have left is painting the wheels, do the brakes, uh, put that tray, tray back in, and uh, I'm sure I'm missing something. I'll think of it when I, when the time comes, but yeah, it's coming along. Alright you guys, that's going to finish up this video of the uh, ZX6R, uh, made some more progress, so uh, soon this bike's going to be up for sale, uh, it's going to be done soon. Uh, uh, hopefully uh, it sells quick I'm still sitting on the the bandit uh, that has not sold uh, unfortunately I might have to start doing some more work on that um, I think what's happening is uh, people are discouraged about having to get the carbs sink so I'm just gonna have to take it all apart and actually dial in the carbs so it is what it is so if you find this video uh, interesting, please like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I got more builds coming along uh, in the mix um, after this one. So yeah, take it easy.